police behavior caught on tape. What you're about to see and big questions about how much American taxpayers are spending afterward because of it. ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila reporting in tonight and it's your money. This Chicago police officer was caught brutally beating a female bartender. The city paid her $850,000. Another shot this man in the back. He was on the ground at the time and later found to be unarmed. That payout, $4 million. In Philadelphia, more than $40 million in police misconduct settlements paid out over the last five years. New York City paid out $428 million over the same period. Baltimore, $11.5 million. And Chicago, $450 million over the past decade. They took the gun and put it to my throat. Now this police commander, Glenn Evans, faces criminal charges for allegedly sticking a gun down the throat of this man. There have been more than 40 misconduct complaints against this aggressive, highly decorated officer. None of those previous claims were proven. Today, he's on desk duty awaiting trial. But so far, he's cost taxpayers $300,000 in settlements. Many, like Glenn Evans, still on the job. We went to Chicago to ask the police superintendent why. Well, can we ask you a couple questions? No. Superintendent? Really? We can't ask any questions? We can't talk to you about the police department? <coughs> Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. But he walked away, unwilling to give any insight into why he not only kept Lieutenant Evans on the job, but even after all those complaints, promoted him to commander. Jim Avila, ABC News, Chicago.